My name is Tatiana Kranja. I'm a photographer and a mother. I guess that's what I do for a living. Yeah. Um, this is Olive. Her name is Olive Chameli Karanja Mutiso. She's now nine months old and um, yeah, she's actually the latest addition to our family. She's just the love of my life, yeah. And I think she's actually pooped. I was a kid I always knew that I wanted kids. I had this plan of getting married at 25, having my first kid at 26, a boy, um, twins at 28, a girl and a boy, and then adopting a boy from Mongolia. <laughs> and my life never goes to plan. So what happened was, I think this was, was it two years ago that I met Wayne? And um, we fell in love and we, I got pregnant and it, was, it wasn't planned so it was quite scary and I think the scary bit was just telling the world that I was pregnant because living in Kenya it's quite traditional and you have to you know be married and just all of that you know be living together at least you know so I was quite scared but as soon as I told my parents it was amazing because they were so supportive that they just made me feel every, like everything would be okay. As soon as I told them and I had their blessing, I guess I, it was super easy for me to tell the world that I was pregnant and I did this through Facebook because I didn't really want to call anyone personally and I just wanted to let everybody know that this is happening and I'm so happy and this is going to be my life. It hasn't really made me feel like anything in my life is put on hold or stopped because for example, I'm a photographer, so it's, I have a very flexible schedule. So I'm able to do work and be a full-time mom at the same time. So in that respect, I don't think it's really changed my life too much. But of course, there's always gonna be, there's no break. Ne there's never a break. You can't come home and have a moment to yourself because you have somebody else to take care of. So in that sense, it's, you know, it's made me work a lot harder. I'm not putting, I'm not cancelling jobs or like, I'm not being lazy, I, I, don't, I'm no, I don't live with my parents anymore, I don't have to be at home relying on other people, she relies on me, so it makes, it's made me work harder, be a better person, I mean, if I do something and I'm doing it wrong, I don't want Olive to then grow up to be like me, so it's just made me be a better person in all sorts of ways. And then the transition, I think, because I've grown up, you know, very family oriented, and always loved kids. I don't think that I was ill prepared. I mean, everything from like changing diapers, simple things like changing diapers, changing her clothes, bath time, things like that just came very natural, naturally to me. So I didn't really have a problem in that kind of respect. But then again, it's also the fact of, you know, your money, everything goes into your kid. So at the end of the day, you find yourself spending less money on yourself or on trivial things like maybe I order out less or, or um, you know, vaccinations, 20,000 a month, that kind of stuff. Everything you make, you you, spe you put into her. Um, so in that respect, you know, my social life has died down a little bit as well. Um, I'm not able to do as much as I did before. And as well as that, I don't want to because I want to be at home for my child. So maybe friendships is another thing that have maybe taken a back seat. Um, not only friendships, but your relationship with your husband. I think, or in my case, my boyfriend. I think that's something that has maybe it has had its ups and downs. Just because you know, it's this whole new new human being, and you tend to put all your energy into this baby rather than into your relationship. And I think that's something that is a challenge, and that you need to work on together. And it's something you learn when you have a kid. You can't. No one can prepare you for that. I think. Anything new that happened to her that I wasn't sure about, I would panic. And I think that's my main challenges because I'm always so worried about her and her well-being. Um, like I just have visions like this balcony, I just have a vision of her falling off. I think that's the main challenge for me, just always making sure that she's safe. Oh man, just just seeing her smile, just, make, just like seeing her happy, it just, I'm even about to start crying. Like, yeah, just seeing her happy just makes, yeah, my life complete, yeah. I don't know why I'm crying. <laughs> Maybe that's also a big challenge for me, I think, because at the beginning I was so scared for Olive, just actually generally in the beginning for to give her to anybody, because I wanted, to, I, I know my baby, I know what she loves or what she doesn't like or what makes her unhappy, so just to give her to anybody was really scary to me. So then to find somebody, I needed to find somebody that could communicate very well and, you know, 
that was a big challenge because I was very scared about who I would leave her with. And in my head, I knew that I had to leave her at home some days and I was just not prepared for that. Whether it be a nanny or my mom or whoever it is, I was just not prepared. So at the beginning, I would interview some people that I just was not, I, we just didn't connect. And I had somebody at the beginning as well who was a nice lady, but something in my head was telling me this is just not... I just don't trust her with my baby. I don't know what it was. So I went through a few interviews and things like that, which finding the right person, my parents would tell me, you know, this person's okay, she can do this and this. And I just knew in my head, like, this is just not gonna work. And I don't know why, but then suddenly I came across um, Violet, who's the lady we have now. And she's just the most amazing. It's something just clicked from the get-go. She's just so amazing. And the way she treats Olive and she's so engaging with Olive. You know, you would never find her like on her phone or, just sitting there watching TV. She's always making Olive learn something new, which is something that I think, I, since I found her, this, I'm just never gonna look for anyone else. I'll do whatever it takes to keep her. If she ever has to go, I will literally, I'll bribe her. And it's like, I, ca I can't lose her. I see her growing up. I mean, us all growing together. I think the first piece of advice I would give is just don't be pulled into this whole thing of you need to have a stroller, you need to have like these certain diapers, you need to have A, B, C, all that kind of stuff. You don't, you literally don't need anything. That's one thing that I was, I was, I was feeling so pressurized by just because I, everyone was telling me you need to have this and don't forget this and your baby needs this and your baby, like she didn't need anything. She would much rather play with a water bottle than play with any of the toys that she has, you know? So I think one thing is just don't feel too much pressure like you need to have so much money for these kind of things because you don't. Um, as long as she's getting love from you and you know she, she's fine, your baby's gonna be fine. One thing that I've learned is just be there for your child. If you're with your child, put your phone away, put your laptop away, don't balance the two. Um, I mean, don't do the two at the same time. If you're gonna be playing with your child, put your full time energy in her and you'll just see she appreciates that a lot more and you'll appreciate that much more. I think one of the challenges I've had is that um, there was one day actually when I came home and Olive uh, was playing with Violet and she and I wanted to take Olive and she didn't want to come to me, she wanted Violet more and that, that just made me feel so depressed, you know, like how could my baby want somebody more and I, that's when I realised I need to take the time to not be juggling everything at the same time and like make her semi happy and then my work is getting done semi well, you know. When I'm with Olive, take the time to spend with her and make sure that she's happy and at the end of the day, I think we've got, had a better relationship for it.